another one bites the dust. That's right, boys. Another one bites the dust. As in another week has gone by us. Sad but true, we're already through week two. Uh, to recap last week, uh, yours truly's predictions, two and four. Not the best we've seen, but I've definitely done much, much worse. Uh, some congratulations are in order after week one. Uh, we've got to congratulate Akuna Matata. First ever fantasy baseball dub. Congratulations, my friend. Well fought, well earned. Uh, congratulations, Smell the Glove, for not reading the league primer or paying attention to the minimum innings pitched requirement. Uh, didn't even meet that and therefore lost to Brian James Green. Score 12 to 1. And uh, congrats to Billy Baseball for uh, sending out more trade offers than yours truly has ever done in a week span. Very, very impressive right there, William Baseball. I couldn't be more proud. Uh, so to go forward this week in our matchup preview show, we've got six new matchups. Three teams remain undefeated, though, so that's what's cool here. We've got Ron Burgundy, we've got Meme vs. Meme, and we've got Globo Jim, all sitting at 2-0. and All of them going up against opponents that desperately need a win, desperately want to win, and can't afford a pick up another loss after two weeks in. It's a very short season, as we all know. We don't want to rack up those losses any quicker than we have to. Uh, without further ado, let's jump right into it, and uh, let's go ahead and talk about the one that picked up his first ever dub last week. I'm talking about you, Akuna Matata, going up against Florida's Finest. Florida's Finest, as I mentioned last week, is a two-time champion in this league, and he has been playing like a piece of garbage this year. Cody, I've just got one word for you, or one, one piece of advice. Get your head out your ass and play like a champion. All right, you play to win the game. That's what I need to see from you, Cody. That's what I want to see from you. I do like to see you always hashtag wheeling and dealing, though. That was always prime code nubs right there. You know, he's really getting into it when he's wheeling and dealing. We've seen two trades, maybe three. I can't even keep track of all the trades that have gone through right now. So it's been quite impressive, Cody. I like to see you trying to reshape your team and really fix this. So that shows this 0-2 start has kind of kicked you into higher gear. Akuna Matata, you, you as well making some moves out there. I've seen you dropping and adding some folks, trying to adjust your squad, not just sitting tight like you see a lot of newbies do, kind of not really feeling comfortable going to the waiver wire, scouring it for hours on end like some of the veterans do, just mindlessly just <laughs> scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Sorry about that interruption. Um, but I, I, I love to see that. And then what I also like to see is that pitching stack you got going on right now. With DeGrom and Bauer outage right now, you've got a formidable one-two duo. And in this league, if you have a couple aces, you're ahead of half the teams here. So keep that up. Keep adjusting that offense. You're going to be good to go. Um, unfortunately, you're not going to be good to go this week because I like, to, like, I like what I've seen from Cody, and I really like to see him making some moves, and I like to see him get off the schneid. He's going to go to 1-2. and two. Akuna Matata, unfortunately, you're going to follow 1-2. One 1-2 and, two. One and two for Akuna Matata this week. I know he's going to be – Akuna Matata is going to appreciate this right here. Braves, Braves right here with a little uh, – Freddie Free Dog on the back for America. I know it's a little late. It's pre-Labor. We'll call it the Labor Day special right there. It's right in between uh, 4th of July and Labor Day, so, you know, I'm halfway home. Moving on to our next matchup this week, and it involves uh, the Chicago native himself that's brought a couple folks into this league, Will Billy Baseball, as he's known around here in, in Georgia, down here in, in, in Georgia in Douglasville and, and them Villa Rick and such. And uh, he's going up against one of the league mainstays of all time, when Puig's Fly, also known as Brian James Green. Um, before I begin talking about them, you know, I mentioned Beer Me and, and it, what it made me think of last week. So let's just listen to a little Lionel Richie here, give you the rendition that I, I failed to deliver last week. Lionel Richie, can you sing Say You Say Me but make it about beer? Sure, I guess. See? Hey you, beer me, beer me for always. That's the way it should be. Hey, hey you, beer, beer me, beer us together. Beer us together, William. Beer us together. This week, you need to be bearing together a freaking dub, man, because you're 0 2, and I expected a lot more coming out of you. Uh, I've known you to, I've looked back at your fantasy profile, I've seen you've been playing about as long as Thrills, just a little bit shorter. Less teams managed, more first place trophies. If you guys look in the fantasy profiles, Billy Baseball has got about seven first place trophies somehow. Might might be five, but it's a, it for the years and teams managed. It's it's quite a good number, quite a high quality. So I don't know if you've been playing against scrub competition or if uh, you just haven't found your your niche yet in the original BFFL. 
and BFFL 2.0 thus far. Uh, injuries to Spring the Ding and Edwing have kind of hampered you so far, but uh, you know, you're out there shooting your shot. You're wheeling and dealing, so good for you. Uh, when Pleagues Fly. Woo! Picked up a dough last week, got the 12-1, to 1. got to appreciate that. But your pitching staff, you're lucky he got he didn't make the 35, because good God, man, pitching is atrocious on your team. Got a surprisingly good offense, though. I really like what I saw last week. You're putting up total bases, you're getting the getting the runs, your average was quite, quite good. I think you would have beaten eight other teams if my numbers served me right, which I didn't look at them all, or, or any for that matter, but it just feels like he was better than about eight teams. But unless you do something about your pitching, I can't really take you as a long-term, season-long threat. And like you said, there's no, there is no playoffs. I know it's week three we're about to start, and you don't know if there's a playoffs or not. Jesus criminy, what, what in the hell? So just for that sheer fact, I'm not picking you to win this week. I'm picking Beer Me to get his first dub. Go to one and two. Send win, please. Fly back where he belongs into the losers, into the L1 right there where it says last week. All right, moving forward to our next matchup. And uh, we're going to talk about the matchup that from Dodgeball. We're going to talk about Average Joe's Gym versus Globo Gym. And to start us off, Average Joe's, I honestly thought you lost last week. I apologize. I marked it down in my notes. I was like, oh, and two. He didn't win last week. And lo and behold, picks up a win. My apologies. He is 1-1. One one. We're talking about Big Ant and Average Joe's Gym going up against a 2-0. and oh, One of our undefeated teams in this league, Globo Gym. Now, uh, Anthony on his team rocking... Fernando the Truth Tatis Jr. Really, I drafted him last year. Thought he was going to be hot stuff. He was traded him. I haven't seen him on a squad since. And I'll never be able to see him on my team because he is, he's going to be a first round $50 pick every year. And I, I never have those players on my squad. Um, but to counteract his awesomeness has been uh, a trade where I jumped, jumped the gun. I initially said, Billy, you traded uh, for, did you trade Benintendi away? For uh, for Julio Urias, that, that that was stupid. That was that Ricky, that's dumb. But Andrew Benintendi, the worst, has been the worst player in the league. Uh, he is one thousand and eleventh right now. All uh, my ranking is nine hundred seventy third. So just if you want to go on the waiver wires, pick up Thrills Alexander. I'm available. I, I'm more valuable to your team right now than Benintendi. Two hits, thirty six at bats. I'm just saying, I'm more valuable to your squad than that. Uh, and uh, uh, Anthony, while you're you know thinking about Ben Intendi, go out, talk to your boy, please, Sack, about partying too much. Good job, you threw like six, 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 six and a third innings or something. You got to go out and party, break the league protocol. What a DA! Come on, man, I, I, you do it on the DL. Did you at least put on a mustache and a nose, Bobby Valentine style? That's what we want to know. Uh, Globo Jim, let's talk about you for a second. I really wanted to spend just a second because you haven't chimed in at all, man. Come on, get on the get on the chat board. Put something on the league on uh, league trans not maybe not league transaction, but on league message page. Do something. I, I you're lifeless right now. I expect more out of you coming from you know you're the if I'm not mistaken your nephew Ryan, okay? Not nephew Kyle of Bill Simmons. Your nephew Ryan of Bill Stocky. I need I need some from you other than victories. All right. If you're not going to talk, I want your team to at least be shitty so I can be angry. Double time at, at that, rather than being angry that you're good and not talking. Uh, but like I said, quite as 2-0 on record, didn't even know. Pitching's quite suspect. You lost Stro Daddy today. He said, I'm opting out of this mug. So um, I think that's really going to put a damper on your team. Your squad's going to look around and be like, man, Stro left us. That that hurts. That hurts a lot. So uh, Average Joe's Jim and Big Ant, I'm going to pick you to get another dub. You're going to go to 2-1. And, one. and uh, that, that, I don't, that doesn't bode well for some of us around here because that means the lips... Gonna be flapping. Flappy, flappy, flappy lips. All right, so that's three matchups down, three to go. Let's go ahead. Let's talk about our next matchup here. And we're going to talk about the, uh, the Channel 4 Action News Team matchup. Channel 4 News with five-time Emmy Award winning anchor, Ron, Ron Burgundy. Burgundy. Yours truly. Brick Champ. Tamlin Weather. Brick, bring the weather. There's Naders coming your way, and they're coming from my team. We're talking about Ron Burgundy, 2-0, going against Brick Tamlin, 1-1 of -on the Channel 4 Action News Team matchup of the week. Ron Burgundy, 2-0, but it's been a tight 2-0. I mean, the, the batting has not been there. Batting average combined for two weeks might be 340, 345. I'm talking combined, not average, combined. So I'm batting like 170 for those non-mathematicians out there. But on average, about 170 per week. I'm getting by, but I knew that coming in. When you're drafting the likes of Joey Gallo and crew, you know you're going to strike out a bunch, and Pete Alonso, and you, but you got to hope they get hot, and that's what this season's all about, finding that rocket. So one of these guys is going to pick it up for him, hopefully. 
Pitching staff squeaked by the 35. If it weren't for Dendelson, I lament on his team, he wouldn't really have an ace to speak of, but luckily he's been exactly what I thought he was going to be this year, studly. Uh, going forward, though, the relief pitching is going to have to carry his squad. Not a lot going on behind Lamette. You look at guys like Spencer Howard, the young buck, kind of, mm, oh, what a shaky debut. Can't really trust many of the other guys out of his pen right there either. So he's going to need to do something offensively this week because Brick Tamblin has the staff. I mean, when you look at that team, if Walker Bueller gets it together, He's got arms to throw at you, and it's not. And but the believer is just the beginning. All right, so let's not worry about that. Offense on the other hand might be where he needs to go because he's just got a regular who's who of no-name scrubs right now that are playing out of their minds. We're talking about Colin Moran, we're talking about Jacoby Jones, we're talking about D Moore. I don't, I don't even know D's first name. Is it Daryl? Is it David? Is it Daquan? What is it? I, I didn't bother to even click on it because. I, I just didn't care that much. His number one is Michael Conforto. That's kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. Michael Conforto is a number two. Number three, you got a pretty good outfield. Michael Conforto is a number one. Mm. Might need to look at making some wheels and deals. Um, just for that matter, just because you have to rely on Michael Conforto and because I like Ron Burgundy a lot more. He's the leader of the Channel 4 News team. And Brick was sad when he left. I'm going to pick Ron Burgundy to pick up the dub and go to 3-0 and in the league. All right, next up, we got Team Texas, 0-2, dredging the league right now, but woo, he's trying versus smell the glove. Now, Team Texas, you've taken to this league like duct takes to water, my man. I mean, you are talking every day. You might have the most messages posted in that chat, and I love everything about it, truth be told. I can't, can't defeat that. Smell the glove, on the other hand. I uh, haven't really heard a lot from you yet, not going to lie. I need to see a little bit more. Draft day, whoever was drafting the team, smell the glove, talking some. Is that the same guy? I, I'm not sure. Somebody might have to chime in on the board and let me know. Um, but your team is built, with smell the glove, your team is built after my own heart. It is all O, oh, no throw, as I like to say. I mean, you got Judge, Altuve, Story, Rendon, Sanchez, both the Martes, Luis Robert. You got Chris Davis. All right, he might hit... Chris Davis didn't say he's about to be him. Both Chris Davises are simultaneously merging into the same player right now. Um, but when you're ace, you got ace Kyle Gibson right now. That's scary. And if you look at his team, I mean, yeah, he's got Griffin Canning, he's got Zach Greinke, but the ace, the ace is Kyle Gibson. We can all agree on that. Uh, so that's woo, scary. Might want to look at swapping out one of those studs. Maybe my Marte, maybe Aaron Judge, maybe uh, maybe Hayes Dale Altuve. I you know maybe Bank. Bang, bang, bang on some trash cans. We might see that. I'm not sure. Now, Team Texas, on the other hand, I mean, I know I said he takes his league like a duck takes the water, but your, your gameplay hasn't taken there yet. You still got to figure out the best way to balance out that squad. Uh, maybe adding enough pitchers, actually complete a roster of pitchers that can be active, that would be a step in the right direction. Only want the best for you. But you got Cole Snell and Lance Lynn heading that three-headed monster. That's not too shabby. I mean, if you can just get some the rest of your staff filled out, you're going to be all right. Offense, on the other hand, I mean, it's it's Mike Trout and just sit back, just sit back and hope Mike Trout just doesn't have any more babies in the next nine weeks, doesn't take a leave of absence or anything like that. Because if he does, you might as well just sit back, have a drink of dew, and watch the season ride. So smell the glove. All on. I'm still picking you to get the dub. Two and one. Your team just like I said. It makes me smile looking at it, and that makes you get a, a matchup prediction victory in my book. And last but not least, we got the matchup of the week. Matchup of the week here. We're talking about Mr. Tickles versus, I'm not sure how to say this, Alex. Hashtag May versus May. Hashtag me versus me. Um, if you could explain it, I would appreciate that. I tried to Google it, but it, it wasn't working out. Um, I was using a school computer, so I was kind of scared in the first place what was going to pop up. But uh, what are you, you going to do? It's pre-planning. So let's go ahead, uh, meme versus meme. I mean, you are the new kings of live arm, bro. Looking at your squad, Josh Hader, Edwin Diaz, you got Nick Anderson. You just got guys that are just <laughs> heaving it up there 100 miles an hour nonstop. Nate Pearson, did. I almost failed to mention him. So I, I'm going to pass the moniker kings of live arm to you for this season, for that matter. Um, I'm a little worried about your first round pick, overall stud, J.D. Martinez, because I don't know if you noticed, there's no in-game technology this year, 
and uh, he's been struggling. So he likes to look after every at bat while he's not playing the outfield, just DHing, see what's going on, check pitcher tendencies. And so far, he hasn't been able to do that. I'm a little worried about him. I don't know about you. Mr. Tickles, all I got to say is another week, another kick in pitching performance. I didn't even mention Patrick Corbin or Mad Max last week, but I am going to mention this week. Hey, yo, the one and only Reza Ramon for jacking up the Houston Astros. I think we can all appreciate that going out to that hitting coach who's running his mouth. Well, Ramon's just trying to tell the pitcher, hey, you, you, you're trying to throw a slider, tighten it up, bro. Tighten it up. Put some snap on it, all right? Learn to throw your shit. I'm tired of getting hit. So that's all he was about. So, I mean, he's going to miss half the season now for suspension. So, Jay Kack, might as well put him on your bench. Good player, but three weeks left. Fighting the Astros. Rob Manfred loves the Astros. He's going to, you know, 42-game suspension is probably coming his way. So, needless to say, on that note, you got to go with, with Aharp here in May versus May. Even though you're making some moves and trying to change your squad up to count for that possibly, it's still going to be hashtag May versus May or me versus me. I'm Lance again, Alex. I'm going to need some help on how to pronounce that. All right. That's going to wrap it up for this week. Matchup preview show. Going forward, we've got weeks four through nine is where we're going to have our weekly competitions for $10 a piece. That's what that extra $5 is for, gentlemen. So I know... Uh, this week is going to be $10. Weeks four, excuse me, weeks four through nine are going to be $10. We're in week three. Go, I will announce via random hat drawings a stat category that we're going to give the $10 to. It might be most home runs, highest batting average. I want to try to do something that's going to be tough for there to be a tie, like Ks per nine, ERAs, like I said, batting average, things like that where... 8.341 is going to be, there's going to be tough to have somebody else bat 0.431. So let's try to keep it to that. I want to hear your suggestions. Send them on the chat board. Send them via back in the commentary here. Love to hear from you. Let's get some ideas. Otherwise, the commission will do it, and I'll draw them out of a hat before the first pitch of Monday's baseball games. So just let you know. There you go, boys. Until next week, that's the matchup preview show. We'll see you later.